lots of prizes. So what are you waiting for? Register now for a chance to be the next Carnival Emerging Designer. Lots of fun and lots of prizes because this morning we're talking about the Red Cross Children Carnival Design Challenge or the V65 Challenge with the project lead, Mr. Joel Bailey. Joel, good morning. Well, thanks for having me. And thank you for joining us this morning. Yes. Bright and early on a rainy Friday morning. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> very early. Happy to have you here, though. Thanks. Now, I know that we got a little taste of what the challenge or the competition is. Mm -hmm. Just give us a bit more details in terms of what we're expecting from the, the children. Well, um, it's basically a reality show. What we do is we ask um, youngsters to submit um, a design of a children's carnival costume, and then we help them take it from a design straight to an actual costume. Yeah. Well, what we did last time is they did a two-foot prototype, but this year in season two, we want to do a full costume. A full costume, yeah. yeah. What was the objective, the main reasoning behind this sort of project? Um, well, the name is V65 um, because uh, during the pandemic, um, as you know, Red Cross would usually have their um, stage show, and we could not have it. Um, so we were trying to think of what can we what can we substitute that year, right? And um, we, whatever we do, it must involve the youngsters and the youth of the nation. Um, the idea was that um, in the future, the persons who will be designing the costumes that we will be playing in will probably be the youth of the day. So we decided let's foster that, um, that skill. And uh, we had that competition and it was, it was a great success. Yeah. A really, really good success. What is the follow through after? So we had the prototype and yep. now we're having the costume. Yep. What is the, 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 the costume going to be used for at the end of the competition? Well, at the end of uh, the competition, we don't have the rights to the costume. The costume um, is owned by the, well, I guess the parent, yes. you know, the child and the parent. Um, so they definitely will be done in the stage next year. Which at, is what, yes. At Kiddies Carnival. Yes. And um, I mean, it, it's really up to them what they want to do. What we will do is pair them with certain persons. And um, some of the prizes include, uh, you know, an internship and, and having some sort of connection with a band moving forward. So, um, but because it's their property, it's up to them what they would like to do with it moving forward. Well, let's talk at some of the people uh, they're going to be partnering with. Who are some of the, the, the designers who have come on board? Um, we, it's not just designers that we look at because it's a holistic opportunity for, this, for the, the, the youngsters to learn. So, for example, in our mentorships and in our um, workshops, we do a lot of different aspects. So it might be wire bending, it might be mm. um, some financial literacy. We help them. We want to make sure that whether or not you win the competition, once you participated, you know, there's a lot that you would have gained from it moving forward. Yeah. And who are some of the people that are going to be in the mentorship programs? Uh, we're still oh, peering. Right. I can tell you, like last year, we would have dealt with um, like Sonia Dumas. Mm -hmm. um, uh, there's a lot of names. It's just not coming to me <laughs> right now. But, you know, we are in, we are in talks with, um, with these persons and some new, more persons this year. Yes. Because, as I said, we're trying to do more than just teach specifically about designing a costume. As I said, we wanted to be holistic this year. Yeah. Tell us about the age group and who can register, register and is registration open right now? It's open until the 25th of this month of June. Um, it's from nine years old to 21 years. Oh, nine yeah. to 21. Yes. Yeah. Why so that particular say, age yes. group? Well, no, it's three, it's three age groups, exactly. So three it's nine to 13, right. 14 to 17, and 18 to 21. Yes. So, you know, it's, you, we get a nice... Um, Catch your students. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, what have you seen? This is the second year that you're doing it. Yes. What have uh, some of the trends that you see come out in the first year in terms of costume design? I mean, uh, is, is the creativity there in terms definitely. of what people have been producing? <laughs> yes, definitely. Uh, what I would say mainly is the, the, the creativity is there. So what we did is um, when we look at the categories that we offer them, we look at what is trending now for them. So, mm -hmm. you know, some of the categories we may have suggested for them would have been like um, their take on a superhero mm. or like, you know, a new take on a traditional uh, mask costume. But what I liked about the, the competition is that you saw the growth of the, of the youngsters from the time that they started to the end because, you know, they are being featured in a show. They are in front of cameras and, you know, for a lot of them, they may have been introverts before. And, you know, moving through the competition, you saw some growth. And, you know, they, they finally saw that it is uh, an industry that they could get into because a lot of them, when they entered, it's not necessarily that they wanted to become a, a mass designer, mm -hmm. but they're into design or they may be into art. So, you know, that's why they started and now they're seeing a new avenue in the future. So it's a reality sh t TV series where you literally yes. take them from concept to yes. execution. Uh, is there any sort of concern in terms of, you know, too much... Um, parental involvement in the creation? Because I'm sure mommies and daddies want their, their children's artwork to look beautiful. And so is there a way for you to kind of monitor to ensure that this was created by that particular child? Well, because it's a reality show, um, 
you know, we're filming them and we're interacting with them a lot. And uh, the easiest way to figure that out is when they're being interviewed by judges mm. because they have to sell their costume. So even with, the, um, with their application, they have to do a video and they're going to speak about themselves and about the costume and whatnot. And then, of course, as they go through the mentorship program, the mentors will be working with them one-on-one. -on -one. So they'll get to see how much input really comes from the parents. Now, we expect, of course, when you're doing a costume, um, you're going to need some help, of course, right? You yeah. might need help from the village. You're mm -hmm. going to need help from everybody because a designer isn't necessarily somebody who's going to actually sew the, the costume and whatnot. So there is going to be some help needed. But in interviewing the, the youngsters, because it's always a panel and the, the judges always have conversations with them. So you get out of them what they know and what they did. Yeah. Um, when is the reality show taking place in terms of the uh, filming and then when are we going to see the final product? Well, um, from the 25th, as soon as it's closed, within a week we'll be contacting all of the um, persons who got into the preliminaries and we'll be filming from then straight on. It's going on. It should be the final. It should be held in October. In October. Yeah. All right. And then, as you mentioned, the that actual costume may be displayed on the road for Red Cross Children's that Carnival. Will. Well, 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 not the road because it's a state show. Right. But yeah. yeah. Um, in terms of sponsorships, I mean, who has come on board thus far to, to sponsor this? Um, we have a couple of sponsors on board. Um, I want to let everybody know that it's open right now. If anybody wants to join and partner with us, um, I must say thank you to Massey Foundation because they have been there with us. Um, but we have a couple others that we're working on right now. Mm -hmm. we, had a, we had a lot of sponsors last year, and now we're you know, bringing them back on board this year. Yeah. Now, you mentioned the fact that you know, the, the, the bunch of, of, of children that you're molding now, they are going to be the future designers. Okay. Um, do you see all of them going into that, or maybe they may go to different parts? So at least do you want to just inspire that sort of, That's of will just, within them? We just want to inspire them. And um, you know, I, um, I'm a past teacher, so as I said, seeing the growth in them, is so important. So it's, of course, it's a design competition, it's a reality show. Those are the main things that we wanted to do, but you see so much growth in them. So I do think in having conversations um, with the winners, a couple of them would have been paired with, um, with bands and you know, they would have made um, help in designing costumes. I know there was one that was um, paired with a band in, in, in the UK. So yes. yeah, but they, they may or may not continue yes. with that. But I, as I said, there's so much growth that I saw in them, and we're just happy about it. Yeah, I'm not sure if you mentioned the prizes, the prizes they can win uh, this year. Well, our main prize is always on iMac because we want to make sure that you know we give them the tools to design. Um, you know, there are many different. Uh, once again, because we're at the beginning, the, the start of the competition, there are a, there's a lot of talk behind the scenes that we're putting in place, and we're gonna we have some great prizes for them. Um, as I said before, um, they would have been paired with with, with bands um, for internships. Uh, there are a lot of things we're going to try to put for them. Yeah, that that younger age group uh, mm. that you have that that particular category. Do you also see the creativity in that level? Because you're thinking that they're so young and maybe they don't know concepts and drawings nah. and angles. I mean, what <laughs> sort of projects or, or even art come out from that age group? No, the thing is, um, it's not an art competition. So we try to let people understand when you're submitting whatever it is you submit, we'll accept. Yes. So it may be a drawing, it may be a painting. Some bit of, some persons might use um, some computer aid or whatnot. But it, it was actually nice to see what happened, what came from the youngest um, mm. group because their, their illustration would have been literally just what they drew by hand. Yes. And you know, at that age, they're now catching themselves. And um, so to see the end product, to see what they had, you see the similarity, but, and you saw that growth. So like with the older um, children, with the older um, youngsters, sorry, when you look at what they did, their, their design was more along the, the, the lines of somebody who's artistic, who's, yes. an, who's actually an artist. Um, but for the younger ones, you could tell, you know, they're now starting. But um, that growth from the, the, from, the prototype, from the design to the prototype was, you know, it's Beautiful, yeah, yeah, that transition must be. Well, Joel, let me thank you for coming in. Just one more thing. Yes. Tell us where we can get more information. I know registration is open. Yes. Also, tell us where our parents can register. All right, so what you do is you can check our social media um, pages. All right, so on Instagram, it will be rccc underscore tt. And on Facebook, it's rccc tt. All right, there will be links there that you will get the registration forms and all the regulations. Otherwise, if you want, you could call um, 770-9395, sorry, and um, could get some more information there. And remind us when registration is closing? The 25th of June. 25th of June. Yeah. Joel, thank you so much. All the best for the competition. Thanks for having me. <laughs> and that was Joel Bailey, the project lead uh, for the Red Cross Children Carnival Design Challenge, or of course, the V65 Challenge. Remember, registration is currently open until June 25th, so you want to go across to that website and register your children. You're on the Now Morning Show. We're going to take a break and be right back. Stay with us. Mas, come again. Well, look how the place on